Welcome back, and I want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. And if you are liking the content that you see, please feel free to hit that subscribe button or like or give me a comment if there's something that I'm doing wrong or you want to see me do in the future. All right, so in this one, we're going to take a look at just kind of looking at some radiuses that create a slot here. One thing I want you to note is that you can see the distance from here is 65, right? That just means that from this center point to this circle, there's a big radius of 65. I use that to help me calculate what these are. So what I'm looking at is that if this is 65, that's my radius. I also have a radius of this circle, which is 8. If I take that 8 minus 65, that should give me my 57. Likewise, if I have 65 plus 8, that should give me 73. So that's how it kind of comes up with those two radiuses, or radii in this case, and that's one of those things that you can check for. Everything else should be pretty much straightforward on this video, so let's stop playing around with it and get started. All right, so some of the first things, let's go ahead and take away our grid. And we can make sure our dynamic input is on, and I will turn ortho on on this one. And some of the things that you're used to seeing in my running O snaps, these are the typical ones I'm going to have on for this one. I haven't said this in a while, but if you want to turn your dynamic input icon on, that is selecting these three customization bars. And then coming up to where it says dynamic input and making sure that there's a check beside it. All right, so I'm going to start with my big circle, and that's a radius circle. So I'm going to go to circle, center radius. I'll click here, and then I'll type in the radius, which is 25. Just going to scroll out a little bit. And now I'm going to use O snap tracking to track over it and get my back circle. So I'm going to go back to circle, center radius. Remember, center is one of my running O snaps, so when I touch this circle, do not click on it. Then I'm going to go and I'm just going to hover over this plus a little bit. Then I'm going to pull to the right. So long as you got those green tracking marks, type in 65, enter. And then I'm going to type in the radius of my big circle in the back, which is 10. Let's go ahead and create our circle center diameter in the center of that. So I'll go to circle center diameter. Once again, I have to touch this circle, and then I can come and click on this plus, and then I'll type in the diameter, which is 12. Next thing I'm going to do is create a line that's tangent from here to here. So I'll go to the line command, shift, right click, and I'm going to go find tangent, and I'll click here. And now if you don't want to shift and right click, you can always type in the first three letters of the O snap. So in the second part of it, I'll just type in the word T-A-N, and that's short for tangent, enter. And then it will expect to be looking for a tangent. So I'm just going to click somewhere along this circle. Escape. All right, so one of the next things I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror this line down, or we can do that exact same step again. But it's going to be a lot easier if we just go to mirror, select the line, enter i'll go and click on this center and i can go to the left or the right it does not matter so long as i'm going to the left or the right i'll left click and then i answer this question by hitting enter just no i don't want to erase the source okay next let's go ahead and put our circle that's on the center of this circle here and it has a radius of eight so i'm going to go to circle center radius i'll click on this center I always kind of pull my circles out just to get a little preview of it. And then I'll hit 8. All right. Now I'm going to deal with this slot that's going through here. Remember what I was telling you in the intro of the video is that this is 65 from here to here. Well, that gap right here is going to be that 8 minus that 65. So this is a 57 radius. I don't have to put that radius in if I understand the geometry. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to go and use a circle center radius. I'm going to click on this center, and this is normally where you can type in the 57, but if I go and click on this quadrant, that is the exact same radius. I'll do it on the other one. If I go to circle, I'll click on this center, 
And when I come over here to this quadrant, I'll stay on it for a little bit. And you can see that it will lock on to that 73. I'll do a left click here. All right, now let's do some cleaning up. So I'm just going to go to trim. And what I like to do first is take out these outside portions. I'll work with my back circle here. I'll take away that portion. Let's come up to the front and we have a little bitty gap in between there. Let's go ahead and take off that little piece there and here. Do the same on this side. Let's trim out this portion. And now I'm going to deal with my circle here. I'm going to trim that portion and then this portion. Finally, I'll trim off this portion and and that portion will not let me go. Oh, there it is. It'll trim it off there. Okay. Last couple of things I need to do is put a couple of fillets on here. So I'll go to fillet. Radius. 10. Enter. And if I'm going to do multiple, this is another way you can use the multiple option. I know these radii are not the same, but if I select multiple, that's just going to keep me in the command. So right now my radius is set to 10. So I'm going to select these two lines. And remember with the fillet command, you want to select the lines you want to keep. Now I'll come back down to radius. I'll change it to 5, enter. And then I'll start clicking on these two. All right. And that's going to kind of conclude this one. So if you liked what you've seen, and this is another one of those quick ones, if you kind of think about it and set it up, and if you like what you see, you can go ahead and leave me a comment or hit the subscribe button if you're a new time or first time seeing me do this. Um, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Thank you for watching.